Have you ever wondered why some professionals seem to be climbing the career ladder without effort? While you may struggle to get ahead, the answer may lie in your visibility type. Are you a visibility blind? Oblivious to the importance of visibility, you may not realize that being absent from the visibility radar is the main reason why you feel stuck in your career. Or are you a visibility avoider? Do you try to blend in to the crowd and avoid drawing attention to yourself? While being a team player is important, missing out on career advancement opportunities because you don't want to stand out can be very harmful. Perhaps you are a visibility antagonist because you believe that seeking visibility is a waste of time and resources. It's important to remember that opportunities rarely come to those who sit on the bench and refuse to play. Or are you a visibility amateur? You do good work, but haven't identified a specific standout asset yet. But being known for something specific is the only way to avoid being pigeonholed. Are you maybe a visibility gambler, hoping that visibility will come to you by chance and don't proactively strive to make yourself strategically visible? Waiting for opportunities to come to you is a gamble with uncertain returns. As a visibility cheerleader, you understand the importance of visibility and proactively put others in the spotlight. However, it is important to find a balance between supporting others while not forgetting about your own career advancement. As a visibility victim, you may blame your misfortunes on your public persona and believe that your high level of visibility is holding you back in your career advancement. However, it is important to take responsibility for your own decisions and career planning. Or maybe you are a visibility chaser, betting exclusively on visibility and emphasizing it more than your experience or knowledge or skills. While it is important to gain visibility, it is equally important to have the assets to back it up. As a visibility seeker, you enjoy the limelight when it shines on you, but you may fail to leverage your visibility efficiently due to the lack of visibility strategies. So lastly and ultimately, what should be your goal as a visibility strategist is to understand how visibility works and intentionally follow the right path to gain visibility in the right place, with the right individuals, with the right messages and in the right moment. Once you understand your dominant visibility type, you can begin to take steps towards creating strategic visibility opportunities and discover your fair advantage in the workplace. Thank you.